everyone today we will be doing the demonstration of uh, preparation of phenyl azo 2 naphthol compound okay so let us know little bit about the phenyl azo 2 naphthol compound it is a dye basically it is a dye basically it is uh, used in the different processes like uh, coloring of the textiles and all other things and uh, uh, it is also used as a dyeing agent uh, in some uh, uh, medicinal compounds also okay so coming to the uh, preparation or the principle related with the phenyl azo 2 naphthol so basically we are making use of the aniline as a starting product okay so now let me show you the actually the principle or the reaction which is involved in this phenyl azo 2 naphthol synthesis so in this azo compound synthesis first there is a formation of nitrous acid so how does this nitrous acid is formed this nitrous acid is formed due to the reaction between sodium nitrite and hydrochloric acid it is a mineral acid okay when there will be a reaction between sodium nitrite and hydrochloric acid there is a formation of nitrous acid this nitrous acid will be further undergoing the rearrangement reaction where it will be releasing the nitronium ion so the nitronium ion released further will be treated with the any type of the phenols okay so phenolic type of compounds like what you could see here beta naphthol what we have used so when then uh, that so nitronium ion undergoes a reaction with the phenols like beta naphthol the compounds like azo dyes are produced as you could see through this reaction so we can see here the aniline is getting treated with the sodium nitrite and hydrochloric acid and this reaction mixture need to be kept at 0 to 5 degree centigrade so when the reaction is kept at 0 to 5 degree centigrade initially we are going to get benzodiazonium chloride as the product okay this product on further treatment with the beta naphthol in NaOH at 0 to 5 degree centigrade we will get the compound of our interest that is phenyl azo 2 naphthol which is a azo dye so with this brief information regarding the phenyl azo 2 naphthol so now i will be call upon my student ragu harpuni to give the demonstration in the form of the procedure for making you understand the concept bit more clearly so now i will call my student Raghu Harkuni. Hi everyone, myself Raghu Harkuni, studying second year diploma in pharmacy at Kale College of Pharmacy Vidyanagar Hubli. Today we are here to learn about the preparation of phenyl azo 2 naphthol. Chemicals and glassware used are anilene 4 ml. Solid sodium nitrate NaNO2 4 gram, concentrated hydrochloric acid 10 ml, 2 naphthol that is beta naphthol 7 grams, sodium hydroxide 10% of 60 ml solution, glass rod, measuring cylinder. Conical flask, two fifty ML beaker, etc. Coming to the procedure, take four ML of aniline in a conical flask. To this, add ten ML of concentrated HCl. As aniline is a carcinogenic, we have to use the personal protective agents like gloves respiratory mask goggles etc while handling the aniline after adding concentrated hcl here we can see the white fumes are coming to this add 20 ml of distilled water to make solution homogenize and keep it on a ice bath
Take weight quantity of 4 gram of sodium nitrate that is NaNO2. I am repeating, I am using sodium nitrate NaNO2. Dissolve it with a little quantity of water. Here I am taking 10 ml of distilled water to dissolve the sodium nitrate. Stir it with the help of glass rod to completely dissolve the sodium nitrate. As it completely dissolves, keep it also in a ice bath. Now take 250 ml baker to this, add weight quantity of 7 gram of 2 naphthol that is beta naphthol. and dissolve it with a 10% of 60 ml sodium hydroxide solution. Stir it with the help of glass rod to make completely dissolve in NaOH solution. After it completely dissolves, keep it also in a ice bath. As it is an exothermic reaction, the care should be taken that the temperature has to be maintained in the limit of 0 to 5 degrees Celsius before starting the reaction. This is the ice bath. I have kept all three containers in the first one. Conical flask containing aniline and hydrochloric acid. It is also called as benzyl aluminium chloride ion. In the second one, beaker containing sodium nitrate solution. And the third one is beta naphthol in 10% of 60 ml NaOH solution. Put the temperature with the help of thermometer. The temperature should be between 0 to 5 degrees Celsius only. Add the ice cold sodium nitrate solution to the ice cold benzyl aluminium chloride solution. The constant string. Add drop wise. Now the solution turned to orange color. It is also called as benzyl diazonium chloride solution. Now keep it again in ice bath to rearrange the temperature 0 to 5 degrees Celsius. Now add uh, ice cold benzyl diazonium chloride solution to the ice cold beta naphthol in NaOH solution with a constant stirring. As the contact with the two solution, the mixture becomes red color. This is also called as scarlet red color or aniline yellow. After keeping it 30 minutes in ice bath, now the product is formed. Now the product is subjected to the filtration. For filtration purpose, we are using suction pump to filter out the product.
the filtration we got the product it is used in dyeing of cloths and textiles etc precaution don't touch the dye with a bare hands as it uh, stain your hands use the gloves before touching the dye thank you